Hey everyone, it's Ju here. Back with GT Online. This is a bit of a combined video due to other issues and time trial. I didn't get a chance to complete Time Trial 8, the genuine one they eventually posted. So what I've got here is a couple of attempts I did at it. It's another one of those uphills which seem to give me a lot of grief for what should be quite simple tasks. See here, it was basically getting up the side of Chiliad one of the less beaten paths. I watched a few of the videos, tr was trying the route, but just couldn't get it to work. And then, like I said, I had to, I had some things going on and I eventually missed the time to go to do it, which I'm a little annoyed about, because I was getting quite a good run on these. But, that's the way it goes. <laughs> so, here's just a few of the failed attempts. See there by the tracks. I was trying to follow a route. Tree. That was the problem. You'd suddenly hit a rock and go straight up in the air instead of forward, and that would just be all your momentum gone. And even trying to wheelie uphill just didn't seem to work. Anyway, and this was time trial nine. Now, I can actually say this is the first time trial I completed in a single go. See, there, that little bounce off the fence there, which that seems to be the difficult part of getting through the fence. Then after that, it was one of the, probably the simplest ones so far, it seemed to have a lot of time. And although you were covering a large distance, it was a very straight path. You can see here, it's basically the easiest one, which is to follow the railway line. I tried, I'm trying to hop it up on the rails. One thing I know from the cars in the game, if you get them on the rails, they run faster because they seem to... The game doesn't seem to notice the physics for gravel if you're up on the rails. The cars run slightly slower on loose terrain than do on the dirt road. Yeah, they're trying to hop it up onto the rail as much as possible, trying to keep the speed. Trying to keep the front wheel in the air just to keep the speed up further. Now maybe the one difficult part, well, two I guess, I mentioned the fence, was picking where to come off the railway tracks. You had to set across, you were going across to the quarry, so you had to pick a moment to basically jump across. The easiest way I'll show you, to me anyway, was to jump across to Trevor's airfield. You see here, went off-road. Okay, I'm trying to pick a straight line. What I hadn't noticed when I was going at this speed. See there, straight through, just missed that rock and then <laughs> bounced off that one. It's actually in a pure stroke of luck, bounced it onto the runway. You can see there, so it actually didn't cost me a lot of time, which was lucky. That one could so easily have sent the flying clean off the bike. And as you see, just to keep here was basically, here was the easy part, because here, you, as long as you didn't hit that plane or anything stupid, you had a pretty clear run. And just a little bit of roadway, dodging the traffic. But to me, I'd like to see more time trials on the roads, because I enjoy the weaving in and out of traffic, the unpredictability. Jeez, that was close. The unpredictability of the traffic, to me, adds another dimension. Now, this is where I completely miss the entrance, as you can see. Luckily, I have that much time to spare, I can afford to do that still coming way under time. What is it, 206? Yeah, 206. <laughs> so there we have it, one. This was Time Trial 9. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. What brings you in today?